Hello, and welcome. I'm Zyndir, and here we are again. If you remember, I said I was going to shave the top of the mountain off. Well, how about we get to doing that? Uh, there's nothing here that I'm really concerned about losing, so I'm just going to use a filler to knock all the blocks off. And hopefully this goes out far enough. I may have miscalculated, but I'm hoping I haven't. Okay, so. Uh. Hmm. I've probably grotesquely miscalculated something, that's for sure. Uh. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Hell. And this is what happens when you don't really pay attention to what the hell you're doing. Okay, let's just... Well, first of all, let's sleep. Haven't moved the bed. Uh, I did move the computer up and get all the construction foam and stuff in, but I said it's only three high. And this is clay, because I decided it was probably the best I was going to get in this case. Oh, come on. So, uh, as for cobble, I've just been pulling it out of the igneous extruder. Because, well, I have it, so why not? And so... I guess the plan here is I'll just do this until I'm outside the edge of the mountain. I'm going to have to end up doing this on the other side as well. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh. God damn it. How many times are we going to screw this up? And in case you're wondering, what I screwed up this time is... The fact that I needed to build that out of up there. Technically, I should just go with the same number of blocks, but... Uh, you know what? If there's a few layers of cutoff where I haven't put enough there, then so be it. That's all I have to say. I will manually remove it. Now. Now it should work as planned. Uh, there is going to be a little bit I'm going to have to manually remove. But that will be okay, I think. Uh, so I guess I'll whoa, place it over here. Ah! Stop that. I intentionally made enough to do the entire thing. No problem. Whoops. So, if I lose these, I really don't care. Whew! So, theoretically, if I turn this up, should do it faster, right? Oh, can it only draw 50? Oh, it probably just had to blow out the stored energy. Oh, fuck. I might have accidentally just destroyed that entire power thing. Whoops. Well, eh, they're not terribly hard to make. I've got more redstone and stuff than I know what to do with, so... Screw it. Fine with that getting eaten. Uh, how much power is this drawing? Because now that I've destroyed that, I'm not going to have any good way to actually refill those. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, so... Destroyed an energy tesseract. Or... Two. Anything that uses, uh... That power is... Now doomed forever. It's a creeper trying to ruin all that I've created. There we go. Uh, and I guess I need more cobble. I have to make sure that I finish the uh, the walls that I want to put along here, like the uh, basically. Iron fences, probably. Because if I don't do those this episode, or at least before it gets night time, then I'm going to encounter a major problem. Being that, uh. Well, basically, things are going to start dive bombing me. Whoop. So. That's going to be an issue if I don't do something about it. Uh, let's just see if there's enough leeway to actually knock out the rest of these blocks. Because that's not something I actually tested. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. For some reason I thought I completely screwed something up. I have technically screwed something up, but that is beside the point. Oh, come on. Okay, so. Ooh. That's better. You know, realistically, there's a much better way to handle this than what I'm doing. Oh. Might as well collect that. So. Yeah. But I'm not. Do do. I guess it's just ready. Yes, kill all the blocks. I like I said, there's nothing really here that I'm too concerned about losing. Although I'm probably going to have to replace the energy system, but I plan to uh rebuild the power room in its entirety soon, basically. But, as it currently stands, I'm just trying to open the ceiling of this up at the moment. And I may make another attempt at modular force field stuff, but it's going to be a slight pain in the ass, I think, so... Clear faster. How much power have we drained? As long as we have over 300k. Okay, we still do. We should by the time this thing is done. Yep. Ooh. Okay, so... Yeah, I think this is going to be a lot better if it's, like, open to the sky. What is the plan here? I think the plan is to do pretty much the same exact thing. Except for which side was it I moved? It was this one I moved over to...
One, two, three, two. Why did I not do it to this side before I started? That is one of life's now many greatest questions. I suppose I will just continue doing this. And I'll probably get the stuff ready for fixing what I broke. So, I'll be back with you guys shortly. Okay, so... I put up iron fencing all around the edge of this. Uh, set up a makeshift power source here because I kind of had to. Basically, I cannibalized different parts of this. And I'm just kind of manually turning this off, which I have this connected directly to the nether lava. But uh, we're gaining some power. And this, I use some of this one's power in order to actually get these two redstone energy cells. But uh, I don't have any obsidian. Well, I have, I think, I have three pieces. And I need more. So I was looking through. Oops, that was right click. Left click. And for some reason this recipe doesn't want to work anymore. The minium stone has just been generally broken for me. But I saw this. I can trade a redstone and an obsidian for three obsidian, and I'm pretty sure this book isn't used up. Oh. Well, there goes that whole plan. Because I don't know if I have any nether wart. And... I don't have a wither skeleton skull. And I don't have a vorpal enchantment, I don't think think. Uh, where are those stored? Over here? I'm breaking... Yeah, I don't have a Vorpal. Because Vorpal would pretty much guarantee that I get the, uh, the heads. But, uh, yeah. So, I actually rather like this being open, and this fence is here is to make sure that no mobs can get over. I'll eventually patch up all the missing blocks and whatnot, but, well, you know what? I'm going to go form a Wither Skeleton Skull, and I will be back with you guys in just a minute. I hate to break it up like this again, but you fucking dick. Dare you spawn on my nether brick. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back with you in just uh, a little bit. I'm, it might take me a long time to find a skull. We'll see what happens. And we're back. It didn't take very long, actually. Uh, ooh, where am I? I'm lost. I'm lost in the nether. I think it's this way. See, I have the exit, but I never actually marked the stronghold, but I knew where it was. Okay. So, anyhow, let's go through here. Do, 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 do. I was using the uh, the railgun attachment to do the killing, so that was rather simple. Oh, I needed a gas tier, didn't I? Son of a bitch. I did find some nether wart. Wasn't sure if I had any. No, I definitely didn't. Uh, you know what? Oh, let's just figure out what all I need. Tomb. I need gold, magma cream, I have slime balls, glowstone block, a bucket of lava, blaze rod, book. Okay, so, I need... I have... Oh, blaze powder... Oh, I have a guest here. Lovely. No, oh, seriously. Lovely. I thought I was going to have to go search. Okay, that. I'm going to need a slime ball. Uh, picked up some blaze rods while I was there. Convenient enough. Uh, random bow. I'm going to throw that out. Oops. What else do I need? I need a book, glowstone block, piece of nether wart, lava bucket. Uh, the hardest part about this whole thing is going to be the lava bucket. What was it? I was looking for glowstone. Uh, 
Oh, that's not the buckets. I mean, it's gonna be so hard to get a lava bucket. I mean, where could I possibly get lava? And, you know, where could I possibly find a bucket? And it's getting to be nighttime again, but everything should be secure. In theory. No idea where I could possibly get any lava, though. But you guys, any idea? You could possibly get some lava? Okay, I think I might have worn that out at this point. Uh, so. I need a slime ball, a blaze rod, a gold ingot, a gas tear, a nether wart, a book, a wither skeleton skull, a piece of glowstone, and a lava bucket. Oh, and I get the bucket back. Now, if I'm right, which I'm hoping I am, uh, oops, the bucket should prevent, or not the bucket, the, uh, the tome shouldn't get used up in an alchemical process. So, we'll just grab out an obsidian and a stack of redstone. So, how does this work? Obsidian, redstone. Ooh. 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 Well, that is officially amazing. Oops. I didn't mean to put those in there. So, that is a quick way to get obsidian. Uh, the question is, what else can I make with it? You. For uses. Uh, we can make... Make a dragon egg. Interesting. Make an extra... Well, see, that's not worth it, in my opinion. That's a waste. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what this is for. I have no idea, honestly. You can make dirt, sand, stone, wood, other types of wood, clay. This is, this could actually be a good one, maybe. Uh, nether rack, nether brick. This one I could use quite a bit if I decide to still use nether brick for the interior. Uh, although, end stone would be mildly amusing. Uh, I can trade lapis to make diamond, but I don't need diamond. Uh, same with that. I mean, most of these... This one could be okay in the long run. I mean, I've got a lot of redstone. This one could be useful, but not terribly impressive. And... I guess... Uh... What? It takes a dragon egg and two nether stars to make Alkahest. Well, what all is this used in? Nothing. It just destroys things. Mixer recipes do the same thing. Huh. Interesting. But, uh, yeah, I've got plenty of diamonds. I don't know if you can see how many there is there, but this is a thousand and seventy-four. That might be a little overkill. Okay, you go in there, you go in there. I'll recharge you later. So this guy's pretty interesting. So, uh, I'm probably going to build the power station over in here. There's a lot of empty space back here and whatnot that I'm not doing with, and it almost seems like a waste to not extend the path out and just have it like stop at the walls here and not actually put doors into the wall sections if that makes any sense uh although I might take a break and do some building over here I won't make the door quite yet but I did say at least I think I did that ideally I'd like to make some kind of a like dock at some point and I think that'd be really cool. Maybe. Maybe an advanced dock of some kind. I'm not sure how you would create an advanced dock. But I'm sure there's something I can do in Feed the Beast. 
Uh, whatever. Oh, I gotta put this bucket back. Put that gate in there for the moment. And I. <laughs> this might be a bit shorter, but it's better than the super long of the uh, the other one. Uh, as for withers, I actually don't want to fight any at the moment because I'm gonna be honest. I haven't fought Withers in vanilla Minecraft yet, so I did make a mention of the 1.6 series. Uh, I kind of thought about maybe just streaming the whole thing, and just like having a set stream date and streaming some of it on a certain date, or maybe I will... Uh, do it in episodes, and maybe if there's any menial work, I'll, you know, stream that when I'm doing it. Who knows? But, as I've said before, I'm normally on TeamSpeak, and most of them are not playing Minecraft. I'm sadly one of the only people who actually really plays Minecraft on the TeamSpeak. So, yeah. Speaking of which, is there any spawnable areas in here? Spawnable areas spawn everywhere outside the fence. But nowhere inside the fence. Okay. Very good. Did I actually turn it off? Yes, I did. So, I guess I'm going to probably end up... I'm not sure what I'm going to do here, but uh, I I'm going to show you my hidden... MFFS stuff. Threw it in here, and I did so much experimenting and stuff, and I'm gonna have to go through all the recipes of this, but I'll do that whenever I get around to messing with that. For now, it can stay in that hole. But, uh, I have the general idea of it now, so hopefully that shouldn't be too hard to do. Uh, the only problem is I'm gonna have to be able to supply it with a stable source of power. And I think it accepts uh, uh, Minecraft jewels, but uh, I know for a fact it accepts EUs. Oh, that breaks quickly with just my hand. So, I might actually... I haven't... You know what? Real quick. I moved this portal if you hadn't noticed. I want to go see how much UU matter I have, because I have not touched it, and I've pretty much neglected it since I've been doing all the working. Well, hot damn. Uh, what I might do, though, is I might set up, say, three MFSUs or something in, like, a chain, and have them power it. S and... I'm probably going to put a defense station underneath here to kill mobs when they try and come in, and eventually another one over here when I build this side. I guess if I'm going to do this, there's going to be all the MFSUs would have to be pretty much in the middle, and then I'll just run a line over. So, I guess that's the plan on that, but I'll worry about that at some other point. Uh... This thing is pretty crazy, though. I'm definitely going to probably abuse that some more. But uh, I think next time what I'm going to do is I'm going to rebuild the power station. So, yeah. I'm going to call this good for now. Uh, I'm probably going to get a bunch of stuff ready for next time. And then next time we'll pick up on building the uh, power station. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.